ill-advised bullshit. strange uh, Rolls Royce or some, whatever, Bentley or whatever that is up there. I'm on the uh, Birdcage Walk, which is um, just around the back of the Treasury. And uh, there's a little bit of something going on up here. Um, I bet you thought that I was having another one of my uh, little vacations and you weren't going to see me for six months. Where's Sam's videos? Lots of people have been messaging me saying, where are you? We want to know what you what you think now that the referendum has happened. And uh, I've been moving house, so I had to disassemble my computer and reassemble everything, which is more or less reassembled now, so it should be okay. So, uh, but I got a little bit of time today on what is essentially supposed to be a, ru a, a lunch hour to possibly just show you what on earth is happening here. A lot of people were saying after the referendum that, you know, it was a really good example of, uh, you know, democracy in action. You know, a, a Britain, you know, a very democratic country, really involved in a, a proper, the proper execution of a political process in democracy. But of course, a lot of people ended up not very happy that the vote uh, went to the out campaign and so what they've done is they've carried on campaigning and uh, they're wanting maybe a, a second referendum essentially what they want to do is go back in which is what these uh, balloons say reluctantly showing us they want to say uh, in they're quite rapturous if that's the right word they're very noisy and uh, to be honest there's thousands and thousands and thousands of them who have basically just completely screwed up central london today uh, i was just as i was walking through i was listening to uh, bob geldof chat his uh, inane badly advised bullshit and whoever that l loud person is up on the stage the people who are upset about the democratic decision that was made, even though obviously a lot of it was very dodgy and propagandistic, but uh, what they're cheering for here is against the system of democracy. I'm pretty sure that the people that I hear, these are the ones who don't want democracy. What they want is a dictatorship. In this country have confronted crisis and threats throughout our history and we have overcome them. The people who fought for the rights of women to vote, who fought for workers' rights, who fought for the NHS, for the welfare state, who fought racism and sexism and homophobia. I find it personally uh, very, very worrying what's going on here. Uh, essentially, if you start, if you, if you hold a democratic or so-called democratic referendum, and then hold, there's a whole mass movement to go against the vote, you would ask yourself why they were so ineffectual in creating the result they wanted in the first place. And to me, looking at all these, like, basically young university students who are like Owen Jones up on top of the, uh, the stage there, you know, basically radicalized into a kind of socialist Marxist, uh, authoritarian, social justice warrior kind of thing. 
I find it very, very worrying. Essentially, these people are... They want central government. They want dictatorship. Uh, they're not interested in the will of the people. They're interested in the will of their social justice movement, which basically means... Uh, well, it's the fresh face of fascism. So it goes to show that with a referendum or no referendum, what we still get is authoritarianism, this time actually from people rather than the state. It's terrifying. More videos to come.